so this is a humpback whale that's completely missing its flukes. And so the, the tail of a whale is called the fluke. There's a fluke on each side. And so this animal had neither of those. And with humpback whales, and that's the primary mode of propulsion in the water, uh, those flukes are absolutely massive. They're over 15 feet in width. And um, this whale is managing to swim throughout the Salish Sea without that just sculling with its pectoral flippers, which is remarkable. To put into words, I spent a lot of time working around humpbacks and that that sort of iconic figure of them fluking is is something, I don't know, that I, I feel like it stirs emotion in anybody that sees that. And to so to see one of these animals that's completely missing that part of its body, it's um, it's very jarring. It's thought that this is due to an entanglement. There are so many entanglement hazards floating around the world's oceans, like old fishing gear that is broken free from um, from fishing vessels or from the gear that they leave behind, like crab pots and whatnot, or just lines from ships that have fallen into the ocean. And these whales have to swim through that. And humpback whales are at, at an increased risk because they have those very long pectoral flippers. And, and this animal isn't able to propel itself through the water efficiently. So it's probably not going to manage to get like the amount of food that it needs to sustain itself, to actually behave like a humpback. So I think it's persisting in the environment, but I would imagine it's not gonna persist for much longer. It's lived on long enough for us to document it so that we can then bring it to the attention of everybody because it's one thing to show pictures of whales that are entangled or you know, to talk about whales that have died from entanglements or see entanglement scars, but this whale swimming in the Salish Sea completely without a tail, I feel like is the poster child for for the hazards that they're facing in the world's oceans. I, 